Neil Birds, a Senior Development Officer in PAP Funding Partners and I work across the Priority to Quality and Cohesion Fund and the Volunteering Support Fund. Uh, I volunteered first probably about 18 years ago for Waverley Care, an organisation called Waverley Care who are based in Scotland and they support uh, people that are living with or in, uh, affected by HIV and I I wanted to volunteer for a long time and I used to work in the hospitality sector and I didn't really have much time because I worked evenings so I suppose the biggest barrier for me was, was having the commitment and the time to, to A, go on the training and B, then to follow that up with volunteering but it came to a point where I felt I had the time to offer um, but that was probably the main barrier that held me back before that. Lots from it to be honest, far more than ever anticipated. Um, I met, I worked, my volunteer role was as a befriender um, and so I was one-to-one -one support so I met an individual and built a very good strong relationship with that individual um, but also I met other volunteers, I met staff etc and really became part of the, that organisation and felt very much part of it. My favourite volunteer moment is, is a tricky one because probably I've had so many uh, good moments. Um, I think the training at the start, when I actually applied to be a volunteer, there was a training happened immediately, so I was straight onto a training. So literally within meeting the organization within a week, I was on the training. And that was great because there was probably around 15 different people there. Uh, and I got to meet all of, all of them and learn more around HIV and hepatitis C, etc., which I didn't know about, um, and explore all the different roles that were available and, and with the support of the coordinator to find the right role that fitted for me and the right match uh, and, and hence I went into, into, into befriending. For me, I think, I mean, for my personal experience in volunteering, I wouldn't be sat here today even doing this if I hadn't started volunteering because what it enabled me to do is I had such a positive experience for the three or four years volunteering that basically I approached the organisation and spoke to the then director and said, you know, is there any opportunities in terms of how I might work for the organisation? And to cut a very long story short, within a year I was then their volunteer coordinator, which actually then led me into support work a few years later and into my role now. So for me, I would say it opens up so many opportunities, meeting new people, learning new skills, new experiences. Uh, and as I say, if, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today, um, which is something I really enjoy and passionate about. So.